Hello everyone, welcome to another Funko Pop unboxing video. Today we have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Cthulhu uh, pop figure, which also glows in the dark. Now, um, if you don't know what Entertainment Earth is, I don't either. Actually, I'm not even sure what Entertainment Earth exactly is, if it's like an online retailer or something like that. But I did buy this at FYE. They have a ton of exclusives there that you really can't find at other stores, like they have Entertainment Earth, obviously, and they also have another one called uh, PX Previews. Um, I also picked this one up, Death, Deathstroke. I bought these last week. I've just been lazy, and I <laughs> haven't gotten around to opening them yet or do, doing videos for them. Um, but I bought both of these at FYE. Um, I'll do this video next after this one, obviously. But uh, they also sell PX Previews, FYE exclusives, obviously. So, yeah, FYE is a good store to get exclusives at. Um, but anyways, so this is Cthulhu. Now, um, I'm not, like... A huge fan per se of Cthulhu but I've always like found the, the thing interesting like I'm not even sure if it's like a character um, apparently this is from uh, the books line I didn't even know there was a books line but uh, it says right here Cthulhu master of Riley or something I don't know how you pronounce that um, I've actually never known how to say Cthulhu properly until recently I've always pronounced it uh, Cthulhu but apparently it's pronounced Cthulhu I don't even know if that's true or not but yeah um, I just always think I've just always thought that this character looked interesting. Um, you know, it's got like an octopus face and like dragon wings, I guess you could say. And then, you know, kind of like a Tarzan looking body. I don't know, with scales and everything. It's it's just like a very weird combination of things. Um, and then I saw this in the store and I thought it was very cool looking. It's a lot bigger than a normal size pop. This is not a six inch pop. Because, you know, these pops are like, uh, I believe, four and a half inches or something like that, if that's the correct measurement. But, you know, there's six inch pops as well, which are bigger. For instance, you know, Big Daddy from Bioshock, uh, Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters. Those are some of the few that I have are, that are in the bigger boxes, the six inch, um, I believe it's six inch uh, size. But this is, you know, a standard four and a half inch, but it looks slightly bigger than that, than that actually in the box. It really fills the box up, so... After I get them out of the box, I'll compare them to a normal size pop, like Robin or something. Um, but yeah, here's a description on the back for, uh, the monster lies, oh, I'm not going to read it from the camera, it's too tiny. <laughs> the, mo the monster lies dead but dreaming in the city of Riley, uh, a place of non equidian madness presently and mercifully sunken below the depths of the Pacific Ocean. Imprisoned beneath the sea, he waits to return. So that's a very, uh, very interesting description uh, of Cthulhu. But uh, yeah, there's the bottom of the box. Side, he's number three in the books line. So I wonder what other books characters they've made. So yeah, very cool looking. A bunch of skulls. And uh, yeah, I wonder how good this glows in the dark, actually. I might turn my lights off just to do a test. We'll have to see about that. Um, yeah, so let's get them opened up and take a look at them. And this has been sitting, I've, like I said, I've had this for over a week. I've been really wanting to open open this, but I've just been lazy to do a video. All right, here we go. Wow, he's pretty big, actually. All right, let's put him down here. Put the box to the side. All right, let's focus a bit. So here we have Cthulhu in all of, I guess, his glory. I assume it's a he. Did I just assume it's gender? Yes, I did. <laughs> So here's a close look at the face, tentacles on his face, kind of reminds me of Davy Jones from Pirates of the Caribbean movies, dragon wings, looks like he has a six pack, <laughs> but more like a, uh, these abs are like one piece, so maybe a five pack, I don't know, uh, and he's got scales right there, it lives underwater I guess, right, red eyes, and then these on the top goes around very cool I really like this one very detailed very very big um, I did notice though the eyes are red but on the box the eyes are black maybe the version that's not the exclusive the regular version of Cthulhu that doesn't glow in the dark um, maybe it has black eyes and maybe its eyes are the eye sockets are also down as you can see on this one there's no eye sockets visible so I don't know or maybe it's just that's just the picture I don't know the picture's not always accurate but uh yeah that's Cthulhu right there now I'm going to compare him to Robin because this is like a very standard, very normal sized pop right here. Um, see, look. Look how much bigger he is. And he's not a 6 inch pop either. He's supposed to be, you know, this size. So look at that. I like that they did that though. Made him 
you know, accurate scale, I guess you could say. Because back earlier, like, for example, this popper here, they always had this kind of generic body and head sculpt and everything. Um, but now, now they're all different. They're all unique. Like, for instance, look at the Joker. He's got his legs like that instead of bent knees, like a usual. Like this one also, this is an older pop with a pretty much same mold as this. Uh, that Joker right there. So, but yeah, yeah, as you can tell, looking at this Joker in particular, he's got a, his hands doing different things. He's got to cold up a card. Um, yeah, and he's got a different head sculpt completely. So yeah, they, they definitely, Funko has definitely uh, made their pops, you know, all unique instead of just doing the same thing over and over again. Now, uh, actually, I want to compare them to a six inch pop. I didn't think of that. Um, let me grab Big Daddy right behind me, actually. All right. So this is a six inch pop. As you can tell, he's kind of in between, you know, the regular size and the six inch size. So yeah, pretty big. See that? Honestly, if they made him, they could have made him a six, a six inch uh, if they made him slightly bigger, but this is still fine. I really like it. So yeah. All right, now let's do the test to see if it glows in the dark. I'll turn my TV off behind me. All right, let's see if this will show up good on camera. So I'm going to turn the light off. One light and two lights. Let's see. And he's not really glowing. <laughs> um, well, actually, he's kind of glowing. You can't really see it. Um, I'm actually trying to zoom in on him, but <laughs> you can't see anything, actually. Um, I can kind of see him glowing, but it's like it's barely there. Like, it doesn't work that well. I'm a little kind of disappointed by that. Turn this light back on. Yeah, you couldn't really. He was in front of the camera the whole time, and yeah, you couldn't see anything. I could barely see any glow, so that's kind of unfortunate, but still. Very cool figure. I'm glad I have it. Um, so yeah, um, that has been Cthulhu, Master of Riley, I think it's pronounced. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, so yeah, Entertainment Earth Glow in the Dark exclusive. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video where I unbox Deathstroke with a nice chrome paint job. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, he says goodbye.